by Lauren Uppink, Head of Aviation, Travel and Tourism, World Economic Forum The COVID-19 pandemic has caused a drastic reduction in air travel, leaving many airlines facing an uncertain future. It might be tempting to assume that once air travel resumes, it would be business as usual as the airline industry focuses on a return to profitability over commitments to achieve net zero emissions. But as Grazia Vitadini, Chief Technology Officer at Airbus, recently stated, pursuing one at the expense of the other is a false choice. At pre-pandemic levels, aviation was responsible for 2-3% of overall global emissions, and current forecasts from the International Air Transport Association IATA, anticipate significant growth in air travel throughout the 2020s. In addition, as the world looks to build back better, a growing proportion of airline passengers will be millennials who are likely to book with sustainable brands with which their values align. To drive a sustainable, long-term recovery in the aviation industry, facilitating the transition to net zero flying by the middle of this century remains a priority across aviation's value chain. Achieving net zero CO2 emissions by 2050 will not only help create an environmentally sustainable future but also ensure a financially resilient and competitive aviation industry as a whole. How to achieve net zero flying the use of sustainable aviation fuel, SAF, fuel either made from biogenic feedstocks such as waste cooking oil, agricultural residues and municipal waste, or through next-generation SAF technologies such as power-to-liquid from recycled CO2 and carbon capture technologies, will play an indispensable part in achieving this transition. SAF is especially relevant for addressing carbon emissions from long-haul flights and has the distinct financial advantage of not requiring any major new equipment or infrastructure investment, since it can be blended with conventional jet fuel. Given the long lead time for new propulsion technologies like hydrogen and electric to come to market, SAF is a way to make substantial progress on net zero immediately, for both long and short haul aviation. SAF that is currently commercially available can reduce GHG emissions by up to 80% on a life cycle emissions basis as compared to fossil fuels, offering airlines a way to become greener while continuing to fly. The problem of wider adoption is twofold, the cost and current limited supply of SAF. Today's commercial production of SAF is only approximately 0.05% of total EU jet fuel consumption, and the current pace of growth is nowhere near what it should be to meet global climate objectives. To help support the development and use of SAF, the World Economic Forum's Clean Skies for Tomorrow CST, initiative created the Sustainable Aviation Fuel Certificate SAFC, system to serve as an accounting tool that will allow SAF emissions reductions to be claimed by the traveller if they cover the higher cost of the fuel.